This tiny titanium circle claims 30 days of battery life with its case and zero subscription fees. This is true. I've been a huge fan of Lunar Ring for a while now, and honestly, Aura and Samsung should be scared by this company. I've reviewed Lunar Ring in the past, a few times actually. I've created content for them. I've actually worked closely with the head of Lunar Ring. And it's been a huge blast watching this company grow and change and create hardware so small yet so powerful as well as software that just shows you so much about who you are as a person and as your body reacts to different things. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. This thing is cool. There will be a link in the description if you wanna pick yours up and special thanks to Luna for sponsoring this video. So what is it? The smart ring industry has kind of blown me away for, for a while now because look, look at this. This is a piece of technology. This tiny ring that goes on your finger. I like to wear mine on my first finger there. There's so much tech. There's sleep tracking, circadian tracking, heart tracking, just so many different health monitoring things packed into this. And now with the help of AI, a lot of this raw data can get transformed into easy to understand data points through Luna's app. Now this on my finger is Luna Ring 2 and it focuses on sleep, recovery, and overall daily readiness. It now has slimmer, faster hardware and has an AI coach built right into the app. One of the huge things here is there's no monthly subscription. You buy the ring, you have the free app, and you get your data right there. It syncs with Apple Health and Google Fit, and it comes with this new charging case, which dramatically increases the battery life of the product without having to worry about plugging into a wall. You throw it in here, close it up, let it charge for a bit, throw it back on, no worries. But there is one feature of the Gen 2 that surprised me, and it could be the reason you actually choose this over, say, the Aura Ring. I'll show you what that is here in a bit. But as always, let's dive into the form and the design. So it's made from grade titanium, has IP rated water resistance. It's about 10% smaller than the first gen ring, and it does feel lighter on your finger. There's a few different colorways here. I have sort of the shiny black version. There's matte colorways, there's gold, silver. It's available in sizes six through 13 with a free sizing kit sent to you before finalizing your order. So it is rated five ATM water resistance, so it's safe for workouts, showers, everyday wear. And the charging case here can extend the battery life up to 30 days. And with this little compact size, it's perfect for travel. Throw this in your bag, nice and small and compact. Now, some little things, because this is a little product. So when you have a product that's small, it's even smaller than a, a, a smartwatch or a phone, it's the tiny details that matter. Let's talk about the case here first. It has this really interesting sort of metal cylindrical kind of look to it with plastic see-through, something around it. It kind of looks like maybe like a makeup case, something like that. I think it's designed really well. I love you get this nice glowing ring around it to show the battery percentage of the case itself. When the ring is charging, when it's done charging, all of that, you do get a little indicator light here on the front as well. And it has type C charging. Last thing is a nice little rubber circle ring here at the bottom. So it's not slipping all over the desk for you. I just think it's fantastic. It's come sort of fit to size with the ring that you get. You throw it in there, you can close it up, you can leave it open, whatever you wanna do. But that's just a nice kind of luxurious high-end look for what is a piece of jewelry. Now, something I've really loved about Lunar Ring is because all these rings can become similar on the outside, they've gone with this really subtle, I don't know how to explain it. It's like this most subtle little S-curve here on the design. It just kind of pokes up right there, which is where you want sort of the, the middle of your upper finger to be. This also can help, like you can feel that when you rub your finger on it. So if you feel that it's at the bottom of your finger, the sensors aren't picking up exactly where they need to be. The sensor arrays here at the bottom opposite of that. So those need to be on the underside of your finger and you can quickly realize without having to take it off and look at where the sensors are, how the ring should be sitting on your finger. I love that touch. I love that it sort of breaks up the sleekness of the ring and sort of just gives it an interesting design element. This has been part of their design language, I guess, from the start. And I'm glad to see that they copied that over for this as well. Just taking it off and looking at all of the little components and little circuit boards and lights and sensors and all that is such a cool thing to do. It really does just feel like a piece of technology from the future. And again, just the smallness of how much technology is built in here 
is fantastic. It feels amazing on your finger. You have that titanium on the outside and then you have a seamless transition into like the plastic sort of see-through here on the inside, which just feels amazing on your finger. It feels secure, feels smooth. Honestly, it feels premium. Let's move on to the function. So what all does this tiny piece of technology do? So it tracks heart rate, HRV based readiness, sleep stages, skin temperature trends, SpO2, stress, steps, and even menstrual cycles. The Luna app includes built-in coaching, personalized sleep, and recovery tips without any sort of recurring fee. It's all just there. You can look at all your raw data and graphs and charts and things, but you can also see it sort of summarized for you through this AI coach that is included. As I said before, it integrates with both Apple Health and Google Fit. The battery life, again, is one of the biggest selling points here. The ring itself has several days of battery life, which you can check all of their like exact specs and stuff at the link down in the description. But again, including the case, you get about a month of total runtime of this before you have to even find an outlet to plug it into. The ring itself, you can find it priced around $300, again, with no subscription, which is honestly really competitive in this market. I think it's very well priced especially for everything you're getting with this version. Now, obviously, because it's a solid piece of hardware here, you can't change the sizes. If you need to exchange it for the right size, I'm sure Luna would be willing to do that, but you can't go three months of wearing this and then change to a different size. Say you lose a bunch of weight, you will have to buy another one, but that just kind of comes with the territory. There are other companies out there that make rings that kind of stretch, but they're not as solid in my opinion as this. And I, I have to note, like this isn't a medical grade device, right? This doesn't replace your doctor. This doesn't tell your doctor what he needs to do. This is health tracking, health measuring, things like that, just to give you a better idea of your own body. And it is really cool. The app, like I said, I think it's designed well. I think it's a little busy. There's a lot going on, but for a lot of people, they want as much data as they can possibly get. And with the amount of sensors packed into this ring, there's a lot of data that you can check out and look at and compare to one another and sort of say like, I slept bad, but I ate well, like how are those gonna balance out? So there's a lot going for it in the app as well. So it just kind of depends on the person you are. But like I said, with the AI health coach, you can just ask it at the end of the day, like, how am I doing? And it can sort of summarize and compile all that data for you and deliver it in a really nice paragraph. So you don't even have to go diving in if you don't like that kind of thing. So who is this for? I, you know, when smart rings started to pop up, there was a huge boom in interest. And I still think there is a certain amount. I have the Apple Watch Ultra and it's huge and it's clunky and I like it a lot. But for a lot of people, especially like people who love buying watches, they don't really want to wear an Apple Watch. They want to be able to change out their watches. So I've always seen smart rings as a way of getting this kind of health tracking and data, not in a watch format. This does a lot of really great health tracking, but it frees up your wrist to wear other types of jewelry or other types of watches, sort of analog or dumb watches, if you will. Or for those of you who, like I've said before, just love data, it's another way of tracking your health. Here's another one. AirPods Pro 3 now have heart rate monitoring. There's another one. So you can kind of triangulate data if that's your kind of thing that you like to do. Say you're an athlete and you want the most accurate, being able to triangulate a few different sources of data might be the way to find the most accurate data for you. Either way, it's an unassuming piece of technology that can come across as just jewelry, jewelry that you're wearing. I've worn some of these on my ring finger before, which just looks like a wedding band, or it's just really unassuming and it does so much. And I cannot stress enough how blown away I am by how much technology are in these smart rings. And I think Luna is at the forefront of everything that's going on right now in this industry specifically. I could also see this being great for travelers who don't wanna to have to worry about charging their gadgets up too much. Maybe you have, as I've said before, you don't have to worry about finding international chargers or adapters, like this will last you a month. So if you're going on a two week trip, these two things should be good to keep you juiced up, which I think is fantastic. And that sort of comfort knowing that your health tracker is not just gonna run out of battery randomly halfway through the week is really comforting, I think. Now, if you need to frequently change your ring sizes, maybe wear a lot of different rings, this might not be for you. I also know like if you lift a lot of weights, this easily gets scratched on dumbbells and things like that. So it's something you'd probably have to take off while you're working out or find some sort of silicone cover on Amazon or something made for normal wedding bands to allow that to be protected. Otherwise, if you don't mind it getting scuffed up, you can wear this while you're working out just know that this is definitely going to get scratched quite a bit and it being titanium is a good thing that's a very hard metal but 
I've heard a lot of like people who really like lifting weights and work out don't really go for the smart ring just for that reason, but you can work around it in a way. Now, the surprising feature that I mentioned earlier is is just this, it's the charging case, which isn't like a huge surprise or anything. But when Gen 1 came out and I reviewed it, I was happy with the battery life. I was getting like four to five days on a charge, but whenever I wanted to charge it up, I'd either have to drop it on the charger at home or bring it to the studio and charge it there. Like on the way to work, I can throw this in here and be charging it in my car or in my book bag or something, and it'll get juiced up fairly quickly. Small device, small battery, but that also means faster charging because there's less battery to charge. So I this is like huge. And I think the design here stands out among some of the other chargers I've seen. I love sort of the premium look, the lighting they've gone with. I always love good lighting and this has good lighting. So I love that aspect. I think this is the sleeper feature for this Gen 2. That's, that's really making it competitive among the others out there. So for a subscription free smart ring with solid data and incredible battery performance, I think the Luna 2 delivers. And trust me, I've reviewed quite a few smart rings on this channel. This has been one of my favorites. Special thanks again to Luna for sponsoring this video and for sending out this ring to check out. Links will be in the description if you'd like to pick yours up. For near the holiday season, they might be running deals and things, I'm not sure, but definitely check the links in the description for yourself. Thanks so much for watching on this channel. We talk about tech that marries form and function. We like tech that both improves our lives and looks good while doing so. We'll never review a product on this channel we don't think is worth your time. So if that sounds cool to you, please subscribe, like this video for more, watch this video next. I think you're gonna love it. Keep an eye out for this product that I'm wearing right now. We'll be reviewing this soon and we'll see you all in the next one.